Hello, welcome to today's Top Leaders with Jen Anderson. I am on a mission to help you become the best leader that you can be so that everyone wants to work for you. And today we are talking about personal brand and the holidays. Yes, we are. And you know, all the things. <laughs> You guys, I think that when it comes to being a tech leader during the holiday season in particular, you have a really unique opportunity to really help your brand, okay, to really connect with people and build those relationships in a different uh, way than can happen at any other time of year. And while this might be towards the end of the year holidays that I'm talking about, you could actually apply some of the stuff that I'm talking about on other holidays as well. So for example, in the United States, Independence Day, July 4th is a big deal as well. Um, but that has a different feel to it versus the end of the year where a lot of times there's gifts that are given to each other. And so, um, so I want to as I'm sharing all these ideas with you today, again, about what you can do to really leverage the holidays to help you with promoting your, your personal brand, you can totally think about other holidays as well, right? So um, depending on you know where you're at in the world, there's some different things for you to consider there. Um, I wanna start off with this great quote from Maya Angelou, who's just a delightful human being. And this is a really funny quote um, that, we're going to delve into this. It says, you can tell a lot about a person by the way they handle three things, a rainy day, lost luggage, and tangled Christmas tree lights. <laughs> I just love that. <laughs> oh my gosh, right? And so who's with me in those moments where it's like the holidays? For me, I love to celebrate Christmas. You know, I've got the, the Christmas tree lights are just kind of crazy, not to mention just all the stuff that's going on, right? And it just kind of amps up a little bit of your, your uh, anxieties, right? And all the things that just get you all kind of twisted and, and wrapped up, right? So so I, so I share that with you, that quote with you, because I want you to think about as you have your brand, and if you know your brand, okay, and if you don't know your brand, you need to get in touch with me because we can totally get this nailed down, all right? And so you can just, you can come over to my website, which is movingforwardsolutions.com. And at the top right, it says, let's chat, click on that and send me a message and we'll get in touch and we can talk about what we can do to help you get your brand nailed down. So once you know what your brand is, then here it is, it's the holidays, right? So you can help to build your reputation during the holidays based off of how you're handling things. And so then that way, when you're thinking about, okay, if I wanna be known for X kind of a thing with my brand, then what is it that I want to be doing with my time? How do I want to be interacting with my team members? What kind of impact do I want to make on their lives here at the end of the year, right? So, um, and then I think it's also really helpful that um, if you've had a chance to get to know your people. So if you've just recently changed and you're in a totally new department, it's going to be a little bit harder because you don't know your people yet. So I'm going to make a teeny bit of an assumption right now for those of you who are listening to this, that you know your people, that you've been working around them for a while, and that hopefully you've gotten a feel for who they are and how they like to uh, receive attention and maybe how they like to receive gratitude and things like that too. So hopefully you've got some of that kind of nailed down. If you don't work on that right away, because that's going to really help you as you think about how can you leverage the holidays to help you to connect with people. And then um, when you're thinking about like if you're going to give a gift, let's say maybe it's normal for you in, in the place that you're at um, what I mean by place, I'm talking about the company that you work for or the um, maybe even the country or where you're at in the United States. Like there may be some things where you're just like, yeah, we just don't give gifts to each other. It's not OK. Maybe talk with your company about that. Maybe that's something they're like, nope, we don't allow anybody to give each other gifts. And that's OK. And when I'm talking about holidays 
and gifts and whatnot. I'm not saying that you have to go to the store and spend thousands of dollars on gifts for your whole team, okay? You don't have to do that. Unless it's something that you like to do and you've got the budget for it, then great, go have at it, right? Just be thoughtful about the gifts. And that's where I think it's really important as you know your personal brand and you know who you are, and then you also know your people and what it is, um, what they're interested in as well, that um, then if you are picking out gifts, you can get them things that are thoughtful to who they are. Um, and so I'm going to give you an example where uh, years ago, I was working at a technology recruiting company and I was leaving one office and I was moving across the country to go work in another office. And so before I left, I, I went and I purchased a little gift for each of the people that I worked with. And there was about, I think there was 19 people in the office. Let's just say 20 to make it easy. And so I thought about each person and I wrote down their name and I thought about, okay, what are the things that I know about them that are a, a special connection that me and that individual person have had together? And then when I went shopping, that made it a lot easier for me to think of those particular little things that... I knew would connect me with that person. So for example, our office manager, she had the most even keel personality. We always refer to her as the peacemaker that she would, not that people were like screaming and yelling at each other, but she would help people just kind of calm down with like all the crazy and the frenzy of what we were doing. And so my gift to her was a peace lily plant. And so I just got this small pot that had one little peace lily in it. So the whole thing from the bottom of the pot to the top of the plant was maybe a foot tall. I wanted it small so it could sit in her in her cubicle area there in the office. But I also didn't want it to be too tiny that it was kind of like, meh, like what's this little thing, right? And so when I gave it to her and I and I gave gifts to everybody, we were like at a staff meeting before I left and I gave her that gift and I said, thank you for being the peacemaker. And everybody was like, oh, yeah, she really kind of is. And so that's where this is where like that thoughtfulness comes into play when you're thinking about your brand and, and that and that perpetuation of your brand as a leader is that if you write out a list of all your people and you think I want to give them each a gift to thank them for working hard this year and, and doing all the things and, and just a way of me expressing gratitude to them, not waiting for HR to give them a gift, but for me as a leader. When you write down all your people's names and then you and then I mean, super simple, right? Just grab a pad of paper. This doesn't have to be complicated. And then next, so just write out the things that you know about them and then maybe like a gift item that you might want to give them. And it's actually might be quite telling for you to realize, wow, there's some people on my team. I don't really know them very well. I have not done a good job to find out about who they are, their personality, their interests, their likes and their hobbies and whatnot. And here I'm in this situation and I want to buy them a little gift and I can't even think of something that works for them. And so, um, so that's why I always tell people throughout the whole year, do what you can to have those one-on-one -on -one meetings and get to know your people. So then when your moments like this and the holidays are upon you, then you're like, okay, no big deal. I got it. <laughs> I know my people and I know what I want to give them, right? Or you might just say, you know what? I'm not going to do custom gifts for each person, but I'm just going to buy everybody this thing. I remember years ago, there was a um, this uh, software, he was a director of software development and his... Um, what he did for all the people on his team was he loved to make homemade brews and he made homemade root beer and put them in these really cool bottles that he'd found that were really unique bottles. They're the kinds where it's got like that little um, that little metal clasp at the top that flips off. And um, and he put it there and then he got some cool ribbon. And I actually think that he got his wife to 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 tie these really beautiful bows on each of them. But he gave each person a bottle of this home crafted root beer. And I just thought that was such a cool idea. And he did it for everybody. So it was a bit of a perpetuation of his personal brand that here he is somebody who loves to learn and somebody who likes to go and do kind of interesting, creative things. But um, but then he's also those kind of people that has a little bit of kind of quirkiness to him, right? And so, um, and that's why doing like the homebrew stuff. And so, um, so that's an example of something that you can do that would just be universal for everybody. And then you might be thinking, yeah, that's all fine dandy, Jen, but we're working remotely. I am not going to ship a bottle of root beer to people. <laughs> 
which I wouldn't do that either, right? It could be a total mess. Um, but maybe there's something else. I have no idea. I'm just trying to share with you a couple of ideas to kind of get your juices flowing and thinking like, okay, these are some different ideas. What's more important is the intention behind it, right? It's the thoughtfulness behind it. It's that effort that you're making to say, thank you for being in my life. Thank you for being a part of my team. I want to express gratitude in a way that lets you know that I am aware of you. And that, my friends, is worth its weight in gold. It will totally make a difference for you as you're building those relationships and as you're continuing into the new year as well. And so that's why I'm always telling people, try to come from that place of authenticity. And if you're not clear on what your personal personal brand is, it's really hard to have that authenticity. And so this is that, again, that good moment in the year with the holidays for you to think and go, hmm, okay, am I on target with my brand? Do I even know what my brand is? And am I perpetuating it, right? And so um, so that's, again, just a way to kind of think about how are you tying this holiday stuff back to back to your personal brand. Um, another really great thing that you could think about doing is maybe an experience. And so um, like for me, for example, my brand is an activator. I'm all about getting things going. Um, it totally happens in so many areas of my life. And um, it doesn't mean I, I have to follow through on all the little pieces, but I'm really good about getting things started. And so um, at one point when I had a large team working for me, there was an opportunity for us to get together at the end of the year. And we, and I basically thought to myself, okay, well, I've got X amount of money from the company to use as a budget. I could do this. I could do that. Like I was just kind of thinking through some different things. And what I decided to do instead of me just coming up with the idea is I decided to activate the team by way of at a staff meeting, um, I said, okay, you guys, we have an opportunity to get together here for the end of the year holidays. What is it that you would like to do? And then just let them come up with what, what they wanted to do. And what they all decided to do, um, and they voted on it and agreed, was that they wanted to go out to dinner as a team, including our significant other. And um, I said, are you sure? Because this means in the middle of the holidays with all the busiest stuff, you guys want to go take time, your personal time to get together with your coworkers. And they said, yes, actually, that sounds like a lot of fun. We rarely get to do that kind of a thing. And that sounds really great if we do it on a weeknight because um, Fridays and Saturdays are really busy with like family stuff or anything they were doing with their other friends and whatnot. I said, that's great. I would love to do it. And I was 100% on board to support. And then um, one of the guys in the group raised his hand. He said, hey, can I be the one who's in charge of figuring out where we go? And he and his wife love to eat out at all these different restaurants. I said, oh, that's great. He loved that. He was interested. He said, absolutely. You make sure that happens. And um, and then I, I basically gave them, um, you know, like the budget amount. And so, okay, this is what we need to work with. So then he went and found a restaurant that would allow us to um be able to cover the cost of everybody going out to dinner, staying within that budget. But he loved it. He told me later, he's like, thank you so much for letting me do that part and contribute that way. And I said, sure, that was great. I love it because I didn't have to stop and go figure it out. Right. But then that happened um, for the whole group. And we had a great time and, and everybody enjoyed it. And we got to know each other's spouses a little bit more as much as you can, you know, eating a restaurant. But it just kind of adds another little drop in that relationship bucket. And so, so think about maybe there's an experience. I mean, there's so many different things that you that you can do. And um, and and I know that there are some people who are a little bit nervous about, you know, COVID and pandemic stuff. And do we gather or whatnot? And so you make those choices. You have to work within the the parameters of your space that makes sense. And if you can't gather, and that would be your normal thing that you would do, well, what can you do, right? Is there something else that you can do to gather everybody together? I uh, helped to host a networking lunch um, around um, around the Christmas holidays um, in the previous year. And again, COVID, people were not gathering. And so we just got together via Zoom and we all wore crazy stuff. We had the funny headbands on. We were wearing... Um, 
just funny outfits. And we did a um, ugly sweater contest and we all voted on it. And so it was great because, you know, when you're on Zoom and stuff, you, you basically see each other from like mid chest up. And so then that way we could still see each other's funny outfits. One lady actually had on a really full on outfit with the skirt and she basically stood up on a chair so we could see the full outfit and it was hilarious that I mean this she had this crazy it was basically like a tree skirt that she was wearing and it was a skirt <laughs> but it was a tree skirt and it had all these funny things glued to it like little tiny fake presents and toys and stuff and so um that's why she stood up on a chair so we could see it but um what I'm saying is that don't let something like remote work stop you from perpetuating your brand that will don't let that kind of stuff stop you from having fun and enjoying the holidays and doing something a little bit that um, is different than what you might do on any other staff meetings. Right. I mean, who knows? You might be one of those kind of people that every one of your staff meetings, you encourage people to wear something silly or something, which is great. I think it's awesome if that if that works for you. Um, and then one other idea I want to share with you that I always feel is very touching. Um, and I've always loved getting letters from people. And then I've had leaders do this before at Christmas time, where in a Christmas note, um, they've written down something about me that they love and appreciate about me and working. And I still have those note cards. I'm kind of sentimental that way. Um, but think about what that could do for you as a leader with connecting with your people. So if you might be in a situation where you're like, we have a very little budget, my family economy, we don't have very much of a budget. Um, I can't gather people together. Well, what could you do is give them your time. And that might be a really amazing and lovely way for you to connect as a leader to all of your people and do it in such a personal way. But don't just do it via email, my friends. Take the time and write it out on a card. It's such a different, wonderful, beautiful way to connect with people that can really help them to um, really see you as you see them. Right. And so when I'm always talking to you about becoming that tech leader, everyone wants to work for. These are some of those kinds of things that are just worth their weight in gold. So I encourage you to do that. But again, make sure it's something that's consistent with who you are. That's not like way off brand. And people are like, OK, homeboy over here never says anything. And then all of a sudden he sends me a handwritten note. It might be very, very weird or it might actually have that huge impact that maybe that you want to have as well. Um, and then the last thing, because so many tech teams that I work with have groups of people around the world, you certainly want to be sensitive to other holidays and traditions of people in other places. So like for me, I am Christian. I love to celebrate Christmas. I love to say Merry Christmas to people. And I love it when I hear about other holidays as well. Um, and so, um, but for me, that's important for me to express my Christmas wishes. So for you, you know, if you, depending on what doesn't, and this isn't a conversation about religion, right? That's not what this is about. This is more just acknowledge the fact of who you are, acknowledge the fact of who your people are, and then um, do what you can to find the commonalities, right? And to bridge that gap around, this is who we are. And let's celebrate these end of year holidays. And let's celebrate that we've completed another year. We've got a new year, it's coming on board. And it's just that lovely opportunity to express gratitude to people. I don't care what religion you are or what holidays you do or do not celebrate, expressing gratitude is always a good idea. I'm just gonna say, right? And so, um, However, I do think it's important to be aware of and sensitive to their holidays because they may need different times off um, versus if you're based in the States, for example, and it's really common to be off work from like Christmas to New Year's. Maybe that doesn't apply to somebody who lives in another country. So think about that and think about how that might make them feel if there's anything special that you want to do. And again, this should come from that place of you understanding yourself and what makes you unique, which is your brand, right? So... Um, I'm going to wrap this up today with a question for you, which is if you had the opportunity to do whatever you possibly wanted to do, okay, to express gratitude and to maybe give gifts or whatever, like what would that thing be? I would love to know, like what would be your big, big, big deal that you would love to do? I will tell you something I would love to do for my team, which is I would love to take us and all of their kids and their significant other. And I would love to go to um, either like on a cruise together 
or to go somewhere where it'd be like a really nice all-inclusive hotel where we could play and we could swim. That to me would be an absolute blast. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to do that someday for my team to bring them all together. But think about that for your team, right? Like what is that, what would be that crazy, amazing party gift idea? What is it that you would love to do if you could do it? All right, my friends, good luck with everything out there at the holidays. Have fun with it. And remember to leverage this time to authentically and show up in a way that maybe reflects your brand, right? And um, and as you do that, um, just notice that connection that you have with people. And again, if you need help with anything, you can reach me at movingforwardsolutions.com. Click on the Let's Chat or go ahead and send me a direct message. And I look forward to talking to you. I hope you have a great day. Thanks, my friends.